Yo, what is up guys? It is Power Bang. Welcome back to another Clash of Clans video. We just got done live streaming as a matter of fact, and it was an absolute blast. I'm going to show you guys what we did uh, on that stream. It was bonkers. A turbo war. I decided, you know what? I'm going to open up the floodgates. We're going to go in and we are going to do a subscribe to PB versus subscribe to PB turbo war. We literally filled up two clans to max within minutes, and we went head to head. We went 40 versus 40 in a one hour long war, and it was freaking crazy. So we're going to recap what went down, tell you guys how you can participate in the next one. Uh, but make sure you guys stay tuned to this video. Pretty freaking sweet stuff here. All right, guys, so two different clans named subscribe to PB. I honestly don't know how that happened. Uh, coincidence, I'm sure. Uh, one of them has the number two. The one of them has the letters two. Both level one clans, both black and orange shields. The craziest thing, man. So anyway, subscribe to PB versus subscribe to PB. And unfortunately, um, the subscribe to PB that I was on, we got the worst end of it. Not only that, we had Nick on the squad as well. Nick dropped the six pack. I'm going to show you uh, one of those rates here in just a moment. But first and foremost, I was one of the first people to go in in the war. Um, I don't think I was the first, but I literally uh, gemmed an army and went in. Yeah, I was one of the first uh, first two minutes uh, to go in. And I went at Louis the Pen, my man from YouTube General, General Tony's clan, uh, was in the house. He wanted to do some wars against us. So I was like, you know what? Let's do it. I didn't scout the base. I literally saw his name, clicked attack, had a generic army built, and I was like, let's go. So as you can see, he's a 10.5 here, does not have an eagle, but has everything else and is pretty high level at that. So we sent in uh, some funneling troops down here on the bottom and then just a queen supported by the warden. Uh, this exact uh, army strategy has been kind of like my go-to on the farming circuit as of lately and trophy pushing. Seems to be very, very solid. We send in a couple of minions as well. Uh, to help with this funneling down here. It looks like the baby dragon doing its thing, uh, doing some great work on the storages down there, and the wizards are helping on the storages as well as the mortars. Look at that. Great funnel created there. And the queen is now going the right direction. So here is a rage spell getting her through a whole bunch of stuff. And now that that building is down, you're going to see... <coughs> you're going to see me cough. <coughs> it's what's happening. Oh my god, I'm going to die. Uh, a lesser man would edit that out, but I'm I'm good. Uh, anyways, the queen is going to go in, take out some stuff, and this is kind of where it got a little weird for me. I forgot about the Tesla on the other side, symmetrical base and all that. Wall breakers get roasted by it, so it's not going to get in, so I fan out a few more bowlers to take out uh, this stuff on the side while the Tesla is locked on to the queen. So in we go. King, bowlers, all of that is good to go. Uh, we got some on the side doing their thing. And at this point, we are just trying to get through the wall here. So this is where we drop a rage spell, kind of get everything going. We freeze the queen and the inferno tower. And look at this, through the wall we go. Grand Warden ability is going to be coming here in just a second. Uh, right, uh, we're going to wait actually. The bowlers kind of uh, get a little bit low. So we were watching their health. Uh, before they go down, though, we go ahead, hit the ability, push our way through. Rage spell on the outside as well to push the bowlers and witches uh, through the base and to take care of that flank, which worked out great. And then we take out the uh, infernos in the core, get everything taken care of there as well. And now it's just a matter of the healers getting everything kind of back up to full. And there you go. Working our way through now at this point. Things looking pretty good. So we can kind of fast forward through the rest of this one. Power Bang starting off the war with a bang. Uh, we're able to get the blind three-star here attacking with a uh, random army. Uh, no scout getting it done against Louis the Pen. Shoutouts to Louis. Shoutouts to General Tony and the YouTube General Clan. We might have a war in the works against General Tony's clan. Uh, we're seeing uh, if we can put something together right now just for fun, just for an event, something to do. And perhaps you'll see a collab on that. Could be interesting uh, to say the least. So that being said, Lewis, nice D. Uh, hopefully uh, I'm not able to beat you twice in a row. But Lewis did get the last laugh as he was able uh, to go ahead and drop the uh, the win over my head right now. Lewis the pen. Uh, we're going to go check out one of his attacks. And he's bringing a hit on this Town Hall 11 base here. And he's going to do a queen charge. Good stuff, man. I like the uh, the charge for sure here, and I liked how your queen ducked out of Inferno Danger uh, when it got time uh, for her to kind of engage here. So she is going to be taking on some stuff. Notice the Expo, all of that stuff. He's got uh, plenty of cover, so he wall breaks in. 
almost gets through two layers there but does have the spring trap fling one of his wall breakers dragloon cc is taken care of no big deal at all now it's time to head into the base. He gets the cannon taken down. Another Rage Spell. A little premature on that one, I would say. Didn't quite need it. He's got, you know, some damage coming in, but still, that queen is topped off, and uh, she, he's just using that queen uh, inside the Rage, at least, to kind of hurry through here. Um, you can see the healers are kind of topping him off, uh, keeping him at full health, and she goes up to the left now, looking pretty good. We're going to see an engagement now with the enemy queen. Early ability, before he even takes a shot. I like that, so the queen is down, and now it is time from the bottom for a rotational Lalo. Looking pretty good, actually, on the uh, the attack. You know, I didn't know what to expect. Uh, YouTube General hit us up potentially about a war, and I was like, you know what? That's, that's cool. Let's do it. So I had no idea about the skill level or, like, any of the attacks or, you know, what we're seeing. This was not bad at all. So he's got a clone spell as part of this as well. The, the queen has gone around the outside of this one. She is going to get out of range, and look at that, just before the healers get her back up to full. Oh, man, she dies to a little bomb of all things, but we do have a clone spell left over. Pretty easy to kind of hold on to that one until it's needed, if it's needed at all. He looks like he has plenty of balloons left over. Warden ability going into the last little section. We've got the Inferno and the Wizard Tower that he's avoiding. Boom, looking pretty solid, man. He's going to hold on to that clone spell for another day. Nice work, man. He's got the clone on the edge over there. He swags it for the uh, the cleanup troops. Nice work, man. Louis the Pen getting the three-star. He actually six-packed in this war, uh, so big shout-out to him. That being said, we also had on our side, we had Baron, I believe, on their side. Um, there he is. Baron had a really nice first attack on Kelston. So Kelston trying to defend here. Um, again, a lot of these bases, guys, a little wonky. We didn't have any idea who was going to join. It was literally first come, first serve, and we accepted the first 50 people into the clan. And we were able to make up a 40 v 40 as far as who was eligible or what, whatever. So, uh, you know, we weren't being strict about it. It was simply to have some fun, get together, do some clashing on Thursday nights. So if you guys are interested in that type of event, if you want to participate uh, on a live stream where, you know, you're seeing your attacks, you're seeing your bases, you're, inter you know, interacting with me and everybody else feel free to come to the live streams i stream every wednesday thursday and saturday and when we don't have a war going on like for example our cwl uh not cwl but our midweek matchup with bada bing clan we ended that we're, we were victorious 113 103 i'll probably have a follow-up video on that war uh coming out tomorrow um but we uh yeah we were victorious there moved on and we didn't want to declare again before our cwl matchup tomorrow so we're just chilling for a day so we said you know what let's do a fun event we did uh, some 40 v 40 with the stream we were able to get 80 people together in no time at all uh so definitely a lot of fun a lot of people wanted to participate and there was even more that were like you know i, w I wish i could participate next time so this video is for all of you guys that you know wanted to become aware of that if you do want to play uh we can do some more turbo wars in the future but baron here getting it done taking this base out with ease nice hit dude we're gonna go ahead and check out the nick the almighty nick um as he was in the house from whf repping for subscribe to pb hey uh if you guys haven't done so yet make sure you do that subscribe to power bang we've got our sub of the day we'll play it on the stream right now we've got becky trudell thank you so much for subscribing to banger nation you are the banger nation sub of the day that being said let's move on to nick and uh oh snap tgm 57 says nah dude I'm the sub of the day. So anyway, uh, T T TGM, thanks and welcome to the channel, dude. Over on the other side, though, uh, Nick's first hit. Let's go ahead and watch it on Brandon. It is a uh, pretty much a maxed out Town Hall 11, guys. Uh, only thing it's missing, it looks like, is the new level of Archer Towers as well as the uh, the Warden is not quite max level. Actually, I lied. There's, there's a little bit to go on this base. It's high level, but it's not max. He's got some defenses lagging behind. It looks like it's fairly new. Um, at the 10 or 11 level, but he's got walls, dude. I, I'm confused by this base. He's like high and then he's not in some spots, but whatever. Not an easy thing to take out, no doubt. I'm going to cough again. This time I'm going to mute for your own ear. All right, we muted that up. We're good to go. In we go. We've got the wall breakers coming down behind the king, failing to get in. Nick's going to try to correct, bring some more wall breakers. Failing to get in. That's okay. We're going to go ahead and use that King's ability. Get through the wall. The whole goal is to get in there, take out the air defense at a minimum. Really wants to have the queen pop the ability here and have this queen come engage her. But she doesn't. She retreats because that's what queens do. They're just annoying. No matter what you want her to do, she's going to do the opposite. As, uh, yeah, that's, that's just whatever. So, we send in some balloons. Gonna go to the cannon first, then the archer tower, then the eagle, and you're gonna see some clone spell action on this first section. There it is. 
Clone spell down, and there they go. A whole bunch of them appear. That's going to take out the Eagle in one shot. Rage spell down as well. In we go to the Inferno. Look at all of those balloons. Even the Clone Loons in the core just absolutely smashing. Hasted Loons in the far corner taking out the Wizard Tower with a direct target Loon deployment. And things looking good now for sure. Uh, we are sending in loons from the flank as well. We have the Grand Warden going to hit this ability. Going into the final Inferno Tower, there it is. Balloons are immune at this point. Two Wizard Towers left to go, but with that, uh, that ability being used, we are solid. Nick getting it done for the triple. Really liked it, man. We can probably watch one more of Nick's attacks because Nick's a beast, and these were, uh, these were solid. So nice work um, to him getting the six-pack at Town Hall 11. The rest is clean up. We'll watch one more of his attacks and kind of watch him at work. Nick on J-Max. So, grats to uh, subscribe to PB. Hold on. All right. We are back. Totally subtle uh, drink there. No, this is not uh, endorsed or sponsored by Coca-Cola Classic. I just happen to have one on the desk, and it's warm. On top of that, but I didn't want to restart the video. Good God, I'm dying here. I'll have to take a break here in just a moment. Go uh, go get some water. Oh my goodness, man. <clears throat> the heat is doing weird things. So the queen gets the wizard tower taken care of. And check out this redirect, guys. Look at this clearing. Holy cow. She's going to head in, take out first the uh, elixir collector. And she is lined up perfectly for the air defense now. And an enemy queen kill. So look at this. She's going to step up. Pop that ability. There it is. Queen is engaged. CC lured, but it doesn't matter because it's just a, a hound loon. Doesn't care about the air attack. Does get the queen taken out. Very nice job. Now he can come at an angle here with the hounds, with the balloons, and just take this base out. It's square in its design and symmetrical. So the spam loon approach, as long as you get the corners, this is this is golden, man. He's going to send straight in, and he's going to use this uh, this clone, or excuse me, the free spell right over. Um, he's got the Inferno Tower. He's got Teslas there. I mean, just a whole lot of... Uh, you know, value. You can see it coming down here on the bottom side any moment. There it is. Gets the Inferno as well as the Expos. Nice job on that. There they go through the base. Everything down. And here we go. So, Loon's looking pretty good. There is the uh, the haste spell to kind of speed everything up. The only air targeting stuff left in the base right now is up top. We've got a Wizard Tower and an Archer Tower. So, if we fast forward a little bit, Skelly spell to distract everything while the balloons make their way over. Kind of like Jaws, just dun 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 dun, dun. Got to get it done, Nick, with the three-star six-pack, my man. Nice work. Way to rep for the uh, WHF squad. Getting it done there for the triple. PB and company lose, though, despite Nick dropping the six-pack. We had some really good stuff from guys over on the other side. Want to give a shout-out to Deleter, to Brandon, uh, to J-Mac, uh, Louis DePen. All these guys dropping three stars on some of our upper bases. Really nice job to you guys. Can't cover them all today, though. 80 people in the clan. Pretty cool stuff, though, guys. There is your final 37 three stars, 98.43% total destruction for subscribe to PB. Subscribe to PB loses to subscribe to PB who won the, the, the war. That's dope. Anyways, phone is ringing. I, I got to go. Um, I'm out of here for now, guys. Peace out. Thanks so much for being here. Love y'all. See you soon. Hello.